So the word salvation in the New Testament comes from Greek word soteria, which means healing, safety, deliverance, protection, soundness, and includes with it the ministry of angels. That's why he put on righteousness as his breastplate and the helmet of salvation on his head. So this verse speaks of God putting on the helmet of salvation when he goes out to battle against wickedness. So this helmet of salvation is not our salvation. It is from God. It is his gift to us at the moment we believe in Jesus for eternal life. The helmet of salvation is God's helmet which He has given to us for our use as His soldiers in this war against spiritual forces. So ang helmet na ito ng kaligtasan ay hindi po talaga sa atin. Sa Diyos. Ibinigay lamang po niya ito noong tayo po ay tumanggap kay Kristo bilang Panginoon at Tagapagligtas. And in Ephesians, when Paul refers to salvation, he is referring to aspects of the salvation or deliverance from the penalty of sin. And we have to be careful in using the word salvation because it has been confused in some religious circles with the term born again. Kailangan po nating maunawaan at tandaan po nating mayroong pinagkaiba ang salvation sa pagiging born again. Because becoming a born again or becoming born again is what happens to your spirit after you repent. Confess with your mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised Him from the dead. So ikaw ay naborn again nung tinanggap mo si Kristo bilang iyong Panginoon at Tagapagligtas. While salvation is what is available to you when you get born again. The moment you become born again, salvation is already available to you. To be born again means to move from darkness into light. It involves a transition from one point to another point based on a decision you make. Kaya ang sabi po doon sa 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17, If anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has gone, the new has come. So lagi nating tatanda niya, mga kapatid, no? Sinabi doon, if anyone is in the church. Hello. If anyone is in the church. No? In Christ. Amen? So if anyone is in Christ, hindi niya sinabing if anyone is in Win Calgary, the Bible says, if anyone is in Christ, our lives must be hidden in heavenly places with God in Christ Jesus. Ang buhay po natin, marapat lamang natatago. Hindi sa church, hindi sa pangalan ng church, natatago in heavenly places with God in Christ Jesus. So the word salvation in the New Testament comes from Greek word soteria which means healing, safety, deliverance, protection, soundness, and includes with it the ministry of angels. Hello. Kaya nga, napakasarap isipin na kasama po sa ating kaligtasan ang ministeryo ng mga anghel. I could still remember Yung akin pong pananalangin, one time at 2 o'clock early morning, I was asking the Lord, Lord, bigyan mo naman po ako ng anghel na tagabantay. Sabi ko sa Diyos, nung tumingala po ako doon sa kalangitan, mayroong pong dalawang maliwanag na bumaba. After ko pong manalangin, may tumawag sa akin. Isa rin pong intercessor ang sabi niya, Pastor, Mayroon akong nakita sa aking pangitahin, sabi niya. Mayroong dalawang anghel ng babantay sa iyong likuran. Wow, sabi ko po. Yan po ang panalangin ko sa Diyos kanina. Napagkalawa naman ako ng angels. 
na magbabantay. That is why our salvation includes the ministry of the angels. Kasama po doon ang, sa ating kaligtasan. One time, tumawag na naman ang intercessor na to ang sabi niya, Pastor, nakikita ko ang iyong mga angels, sabi niya. Wow, sila ay nakasteady. Mukhang wala kang pinapagawa sa kanila. Sabi niya sa akin. <laughs> Hallelujah. So, noong tinanggap po natin si Jesus sa ating mga buhay, ibig sabihin, born again ka na. Available na sa iyo ang salvation. Hindi lamang sa buhay na ito, kundi maging sa buhay na walang hanggan. Kaya marapat lamang na i-claim mo ang salvation na available para sa iyo. So, you have a right to benefit from everything that salvation has to offer. So, you can enjoy a victorious life and an abundant life that the Lord has for you.